from Mexico City. Breakfast of champions, I got myself an omelet with some fruits and tamale. It's important to not forget your fruits, especially on vacation. Customs. I gotta find gate 68. This building looks very much like a like a space colony in the 80s or 70s futuristic type of thing. It's a bit of pandemonium when you get right out this huge mass of people, but I've actually found my sign. There we go, Ben Holbrook, that's me. That one is me. Welcome to Guatemala. We've got a 45 minute drive to hit up uh, Antigua. It looks like uh, for street legal vehicles, you're allowed to have a tinted out front window, which seems kind of crazy. Um, you don't know who's rolling up to pick you up. Like this car just showed up, as you can see. You have no idea who's in there. So here is my ride. I am in this shuttle. Welcome to Antigua. Let me show you around what it's like so far. It's a nice little feel to it. I've got a little chair to chill on. I've got this view of the courtyard and the front door there. Nice size bed. And I've got a closet with a safe in there. A nice beautiful patio. Yeah, that'd be an awesome place to read a book. There's also a kitchen with filtered water, organic eggs, organic coffee, toaster if I need it. I can use any of this if I want. Coco. So here's the hole in the wall place I've been recoed for lunch. It's called El Porton. Pepayan is seen as traditional Guatemalan food. It's like a fusion between Mayan and Spanish dishes. It's sort of like a spicy stew, but it's known as typical Guatemalan street food. So people say it tastes a bit bitter, and it's not like a bad type of bitter, it's actually a really good type of bitter, but the reason it tastes like that is because they roast the ingredients before putting it into the stew which gives off an entirely different taste. Verdict here on El Porton. Just over five bucks, so that's like 30 quesadillas. Amazing, definitely give it two thumbs up. Cheap, traditional Guatemalan food. It actually fills you up really good. Not too thick, amazing. Go check these people out next time if you're ever in Antigua. So I'm trying to go low key, or as low key as possible when it comes to vlogging, because this site that I'm hiking up right now, it's a hill, uh, it's so notorious for muggings that they now have full-time police patrols. Cerro de la Cruz, here we go. I'm at the very top of Cerro de la Cruz right there. Um, and I feel safe enough to bring my camera because there's a bunch of people right now. So that's Volcan Agua right behind us. And obviously this is Antigua we're overlooking. This cross right here is in honor of the city's patron saint. All right, stop number two on my little adventure today is a set of ruins. And that's one of the themes you'll see throughout uh, my time in Antigua is a bunch of ruins because this is an earthquake zone, a volcano zone, uh, an avalanche zone even. It's just, I don't know why you try and build buildings here. So this ruins is only literally like one minute down the road. It's called the Iglesia de la Candelaria. It's stuck to this little uh, basketball court here, but have a look at it. Oh man.
next one is called Iglesia El Carmen. Right attached to the back of the other one is Covento de Santa Teresa here. And it's actually, uh, until very recently, it served as the men's prison. It's kind of mind blowing to think. Most of the time you hear prisons on the outskirts of town, just in case they break out, obviously. It's kind of sad, but they jack up the price of the church. It's 300 quesals for a photography session in there. I don't think it's quite worth it. So we'll just look at it from the outside. for the one you see in all the postcards of Antigua, the Santa Catalina Arch. I'm pretty excited about the deal I found at the supermarket. Came to a total of 14 and a half K sales, which works out to $2.50 roughly. Pretty good deal. These are 16 ounce tall boy cans. The one farthest from me, the ice, that seems to be like a lot of the younger locals I see drinking. Um, but in terms of marketing, I see this one right here all over the place with posters. So it's 9 o'clock. It's obviously a little late to have dinner. Um, I got a little bit caught up finishing those beers off and then I actually ran into my Airbnb host Miwa So we had some good conversation uh, Learning some bit about each other and uh, Hearing some restaurant recommendations. The problem is those restaurants actually close early So I may be out of luck for dinner tonight and just stuck with bar food. This is Frida's in Antigua It's like one of the top 10 ranked restaurants. It's Mexican food the tacos. We've got some beef and some sausage. Frida's. I, it wasn't that great. It was average I'd say. Um, I think it's just because rate's so high because of such limited selection there. I'd probably give it seven, seven and a half out of ten. Look, Frida's even has this crazy wacky looking car. Frida's and look at the hood of this thing. In the meantime, look at this beautiful scenery. That arch lit up. Oh. I always find it interesting walking around late at night in the back streets of this city, town that's unknown to you. This sort of calm comes over you and you're not scared, you're not worried and it's just relaxing. All right, I most definitely would not have seen this had I not taken the back alleys and gone for a wander. Look how crazy this is. There's a freaking volcano blowing up right behind me. Is that not maddening? It happens so infrequently near us. This is crazy, it's a freaking volcano. Mm -hmm. 